Right, I'm here with Richard Farnham, uh, Calvin's uh, trainer. Richard, how are you? You right? I'm oh, really good, yeah. Good. Uh, how's the training been going with Calvin? It has been perfect. Um, I know I may say that every single time, and yeah. in other camps we have had certain issues, whether it might be niggles, um, he had a cut before the Cousins fight, before the Ribjeff fight, we kind of peaked three weeks out. Yeah. This one has gone perfectly, it's gone, gone to plan. We've been in training camp since the 2nd of January, we started off um, the first three to four weeks with strength and conditioning, really um, concentrating on strength work, and then from February we just started to spar, 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 and pad work. So you do a lot of sparring. Who's the guys you do sparring with? Um, well, for this, this one we've had Sam Cousins coming up oh, right, yeah. a couple of times, and we've had uh, f another former opponent of Calvin's in uh, Tony Hill. Yeah. Tony's been up a couple of times for some great sparring, yeah. um, and then other lads in the gym. We've had um, obviously Ben was in, Phil Day, Tarek, who's on this bill as well, um, Mark Reynolds, Bino. You know, we, we've had a good selection of our own guys for yeah. a lot of sparring, but. You know, it's been great sparring. So there's been no good. niggles, no injuries, no anything? Nothing at all. No, it's been really good. Really Can you good. tell me a bit about your opponent? Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've done a bit of research on uh, Kogler. This is going to be his 50th fight. Um, very experienced, very well travelled. Coming over here to Swindon is not going to phase him whatsoever. Um, he comes in. I think we've got the beating of him um, in style. I'm fairly confident that. It, everything will go to plan. Um, so there's a game plan in place, obviously? Yeah, yeah. always. Yeah. Yeah, I'd never go into one without one. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, you know, he's a tough lad. You know, he's been in with the likes of Robert Stieglitz and, and people like that. You know, he's, he's, he's fought around Europe. He's fought in the UK a few times. So he, know, he knows what he's doing. He knows, knows he's coming over here and he knows who he's against. So I'd imagine as well, um, he's had a good five weeks notice. So I'd imagine he'll be in great condition and it should prove to be a good fight. But I can only see it going one way. And... Um, I think Calv will look sensational. I really do. Um, obviously, further down the line, obviously this is not for this actual title fight. Um, further on down the line, obviously if everything goes to plan at the weekend. Um, obviously for his title, you're looking in the summer, I've, I've obviously seen. June the 7th. June the 7th. It's going to be June the 7th, um, and it will be an IBO ranked fighter in the world between sort of uh, the ranks of 50 and I think 84. So... Um, Calvin, Calvin, I think, is about 85 or 86 at the minute, so we need to get in there. But what we'll be looking at doing is looking at hopefully getting some around about the 60 into the 50s mark, because yeah. that way that'll push Calvin a little bit further yeah. forward. And then hopefully we'll get another defence of that title in um, October-ish, um, maybe November. And that, again, again, fingers crossed, that'll be with a, a, an IBO ranked fighter in the top 35. Yeah. Now, providing that goes well, yeah. and I'm not just saying this, this, is, this is how it could happen, if he gets into the top 35 with this intercontinental title, that then makes him mandatory for the world, you know. And that's, that's the plan that we're looking at. That, that's massive. It's huge. So, in, so it's a massive year for Calvin and yourself? Yeah. Yeah, it, it is a huge year. It's exciting. It's going to be a lot of hard work. Um, and things have got to go to plan, obviously. I mean, these, these next two... This fight's going to be hard tomorrow night. Um, but it should be a learning fight, which is what, what we wanted for Kelv, because obviously he's been in back-to-back -back hard fights um, over the last two years. So this should be a good learning fight. He should be able to try a few things out. He should be able to control it enough to be confident to work on some things we've been doing in the gym. Um, June the 7th will be a tough fight because those kind of guys you're looking at are very experienced. Um, so then we'd have to concentrate on that. We've got a good training camp plan, plan for that one. We'll be back up in Sheffield quite often, probably once a week, sparring with Kyle Froch for... Obviously, his defence um, or his rematch with, with George Groves. You guys have obviously done that before with Frott. Yeah, we've had two training camps with Carl. We had um, the Mikhail Kessler training camp and then we've had the George Groves first fight training camp with you Carl. You take a lot away from doing that with Carl. Yeah, yeah, you can't not learn with yeah. Carl. Um, Carl's, Carl's very tough, obviously extremely strong and fit, and he's awkward. Yeah. You know, he doesn't box conventionally. And that, that's exactly the same when he, obviously when he, when he fights. You know, he does it in sparring. Um, but, you know, Calv, Calv's done 12-rounders with him, 8-rounders, 10-rounders, you know, he's mixed it up. And um, he's done well, you know, it's at 83 rounds in total with him now. So Obviously, the combination of you and Calvin, your relationship together as obviously trainer and friends, is that obviously really pleased with that? Obviously, that's progressed. Everyone's seen how well that's gone. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, really I, I, I do look at him as part of my family. Yeah. Um, you know, I'll do anything for him. Yeah. I think, think the feeling's probably mutual on that one, you know. Yeah. We spend a lot of time together. Yeah. 
you know, twice a day, five days a week, sometimes uh, at the weekend as well, you know. We know each other well. The most important thing is I know Calvin well. I know his mood swings. I know how he's feeling. I'll talk to him about anything. He'll tell me things, you know. And it's, it, that's where it's important. He's, you know, we've got to have that relationship. You've got to be close to your fighters. Seems to have you know. impressed quickly with you. Yeah, I mean, we've only been together now, what, 14 months, you know. Um, yeah, we've done all right, haven't we, <laughs> yeah, in 14 bit, months. We've done all right. So um, awards going out there and nominations and all that. Yeah, so right. it, yeah, it's worked. And obviously titles he's won and the fights yeah. he's won, you know. It's, um, Must be proud um, of the achievements. Yeah, I, yeah, really proud. Yeah, yeah. Um, Feet are obviously firmly on the floor, as always, yeah. because, you know, not everything's always perfect. You know, we've got things to learn. We're learning all the time. Yeah. Um, but I'm like a sponge. That's where... Where we go sparring and who we who we train with, you know, I, I take a lot from it. You know, I'm, I'm very good friends with Robert McCracken now, yeah. but I learned so much from just yeah. watching him working with Carl. He gives me pointers and tips. Richie Woodall's another great one up there as well. And, and Richie, you know, almost like on the second camp, he said, "Look, you and Calvin are part of our family. You come up here anytime." And we bounce off the, um, the amateur coach, like Dave Alloway, the head coach for um, Team GB. You know, takes was with all, all the guys and girls at the Olympics, you know. Dave gives a lot of input, you know. There's no secrets, you yeah. know, they, they help them. We, I feed off of that, you know. And it's just tiny little things. things. Yeah, because, you know, always learning. You never stop learning. If in this game you think you've stopped learning and you know it all, that's when you're going to get problems, I think, you know. Cause no two, two opponents are the same. No two days or training camps are the same either. So you've got to adjust things. And we've had three of the last training camps completely different to each other and this training camp has been completely different again you know we worked on some other things so and it seems to be going you know well hopefully it all goes alright and thanks so much for your time much Should appreciate do. the Ridge thank you very nice much appreciate that. You. Thank you.